Welcome everyone to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for daily Pokemon Go videos because today we're going to be going on a hunt for rare Pokemon and learning a little bit more about things called Nets and how they can help you guys find rare Pokemon really consistently. Last episode, we actually went to one of these nests and ended up getting a Charmander. I had to go onto a golf course and funnily enough, we're actually going to a golf course again today. There's going to be amazing places for these Pokemon Go nests. So, if you missed that episode, it'll be down below in the description. But for today, we're going to start it off here in the Pokemon Go headquarters, talk a little bit more about nests, how you can find them, how you can share them with your friends, and set off on today's adventure to find rare Pokemon. So guys, welcome back to the headquarters. To start off another episode, we've got Giant Pikachu joining us to start off with here. And I just want to show you guys, because of last episode, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. It's taken me a while to get all three of them, but we are finally there. And on top of that, this is the starting Squirtle I caught when I first started Pokemon Go and I'm never going to get rid of him. I'm going to keep him forever. Potentially, if we get so far into the game, I've got so many candies. I'm going to evolve him into the biggest and bestest blast toys. But at the moment, I'm keeping hold of him. I'm not getting rid of him. He's a part of a family. Now, today I said I was going to be talking about Pokemon Nests. Exactly what they are, how you can locate them, and how you can share them with your friends as well. So, we've actually come across a few nests, sometimes by accident, in these videos. So, when we went for our very first hunt for Electrobuzzes, when I actually caught one on top of my car, if you guys remember... That area is an Electrobuzz nest. We've been there several times and there's always Electrobuzz spawning all around consistently. So normally Electrobuzz would be a rare Pokemon, but in nests, it's an area they consistently spawn in over and over and over. For whatever reason, golf courses seem to be really good places for nests. And if you watch yesterday's video, we went to a golf course, you understand. We caught loads of Charmander. We got three Charmanders and there were loads of Charmanders spawning there all the time. And that was also a Charmander nest. Now another nest I've also come across in my videos is when I went back and visited with my parents and my brother, we also went to a golf course and there were quite a few Dratinis there. Now some nests are more effective than others, some have four, five, six of those Pokemon constantly spawning, whereas some have a few that rotate in every now and then, so aren't quite as good nests. Now, if you want to know where these nests are, of course the best place is to share them around. So a few days ago I showed you guys the CP calculator on the website we've developed called Pokefind, which allows you to submit all the Pokemon you found and help you share nests and just other Pokemon you've come across in specific areas areas so everyone can find them as well. So if you head over to Pokefind, I'll link it down below in the description, we've got two forms of the way that this website will work. So we've got the evolution calculator, which you've already used before in a video, it's super useful. If you're ever evolving a Pokemon, make sure you're using this to predict its CP, to know whether or not you've got a good or bad evolution. There's also the live map, where you can go anywhere in the world, zoom in, I obviously don't live in Madrid, but if you did, you can then just whittle it down to just Pokemon, Pokestops or Gym, press scan, and it will show you all the live Pokemon that are available right that second in the nearby areas. So what we've got, we've got a Growlithe going on here, which is awesome. We've got a Sandshrew going on here. So really awesome live map. However, if you want to be really specific and share what you found with other people, if you go to the Pokemon segment, you get a full list of the whole um, Pokedex. We can actually specifically choose the Pokemon you want to look for. So for example, if you were looking for Bulbasaur, you want to know where just Bulbasaur was, you can literally travel the world on this map and find where people have found Bulbasaur so you can go there yourself and try and find them. Now, obviously the live map is really useful for finding Pokemon right there, right then, and will give you lots of information straight away. But the way all this data is collected for these kind of searches is used through the actual app's API system. So basically, they're using the coding and information from the app to get all this live information. Now, I think in the near future, all that information will be blocked off so people can't access it. So we're going to have to rely on people like you guys and myself submitting information to websites like Pokefind so we can work together as a community and find Pokemon through your own input. So I'd highly suggest that if you're looking for a specific Pokemon or come across a specific Pokemon, you spend a few seconds entering it into Pokefind and also using it as a, your own way to find Pokemon too, to help out the community. And when we don't have access to those live features anymore, we can still come here, still find Pokemon, and it's just a great place for Pokemon Go players. So hopefully Pokefind will help you guys find some really rare Pokemon. It's a great website. And we're going to be using that today for a tip-off to find a rare Pokemon for ourselves that we have not found yet in one of these nests that I found through Pokefind. So, 
We're going to start off today, find some rare Pokemon. If you guys are excited, give it a thumbs up. Let's start another Pokemon Go episode. So guys, as excited as I am today to find some new rare Pokemon that we've been tipped off on, I actually need to go to the dentist to start off, which kind of sucks. I actually went to the dentist here a few weeks ago. I'm basically getting a mold done for my teeth, and I'm going to be having like a retainer for 12 months. I had braces when I was younger, but it, my teeth have gone back to being terrible again, so it's been another 12 month process. But while we're in town, I'm literally on a Poke stop. I'm going to see if, and I fingers crossed, we can get an egg. Okay, we didn't get an egg, but the interesting thing is, I've got a few more eggs that I haven't checked yet. So, ooh, no way, we've got another 10k one. Let's go. What an amazing start. So, we've got a 10k and two 5k eggs from Poke Stop. Two more, and we'll be back to nine out of nine. But I need to go to a dentist, and then hopefully, you can find some rare Pokemon here before we even go off to our main stop for the day and find some awesome Pokemon. All right, guys, the dentist appointment is over. I'll be back in a few weeks. I actually see like a 3D video of how my teeth will change through this process. You guys probably don't care, but if you see me wearing braces in my videos in the near future, you'll know why. So I'll keep you guys updated. But you may recognize this area here is where we caught a Haunter about a few weeks ago. If you guys have been keeping up with every episode, and time to hatch a brand new egg. I'm pretty sure that guy's brace is terrible on his cars. I'm pretty sure it's a 5k egg. Let's see what it's going to be. <gasps> okay, an Ekans, an Ekans. Every single Pokemon I get that needs an evolution. So 34 candies, four, five, six Ekans. That's pretty sick. Now, if you look behind me here, you can see there's two lures currently going down. So I think, although I do want to get on with finding this awesome Pokemon I keep on talking about, I'm going to chill here for a little bit. Also notice there's a Squirtle on my nearby list. I think it's in the direction of Tumble. From. Honestly, don't think you're going to be able to track it down, but maybe we'll get something awesome from these lures, and if anything, we'll replenish our egg count. Now, as much as we all hate Drowsy, if you guys remember from the end of the last episode, I caught a ridiculous, ridiculous CP Drowsy. So actually, any Drowsy or Hypnos I can find right now, and there's a few in those lures behind me, I'm going to capture, and we're going to work our way up to those 50 candies needed to see how good his evolved form will be. Yo, look what just came from my own personal incense, a me out. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm just going to guess it because I haven't seen but I'm pretty sure that's not my strongest one, so I'm going to discard it. If we take a look at the one I've got already, okay, FML, he was actually higher than the one I already had, but if you have a look at this, I only need one more candy to evolve this guy into a Persian, which I don't have. A lot of people say Persian looks a little bit like Oliver, so I think it's a cute comparison, but I, can't, I can't believe I screwed that up. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't have evolved it anyway. I'd probably wait for like a five or 600 Meowth. I'd probably wait for like a five or 600 Meowth, and then we'll have a brand new Pokemon. All right, guys, our pre-finding of Epic Pokemon has come to an end. We're about to head home, and we're going to collect Claire and take her with us as well, but one while I was in town, I literally caught a Jigglypuff just on the way back, which is perfect because it now gives me, as you can see on screen here, 50 Jigglypuff candy so I can actually evolve one. I want to do it, but at the same time, I know this isn't the strongest Jigglypuff in the world. So maybe we get back, we'll evolve it with Claire because she hasn't got a Wigglytuff, so it'll be a new evolution for both of us to see. Unfortunately, the drowsy grind is still continuing, but it's fine. We'll get there eventually. If you look on my journal, my last Pokestop gave me seven items. It actually gave me an egg as well. I know it gave me an egg, but it's not on there. It definitely gave me an egg guys because if we go to my egg list now we can see i'm at nine out of nine and look at that, i've got three 10k eggs on the go what i've had a 10k egg in like weeks and i've got three at the moment insane a quick little egg tip as you can see i've got my 2k egg in that infinite usage incubator obviously 2k eggs are going to be run off really quickly so you're going to cycle 2k eggs the quickest out of all of them so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on incubators or just aren't spending a lot of money but you have a few incubators spare make sure your infinite incubator you're only using the 2k eggs and leave the five and the 10k eggs to the ones that will be whittled down and only have three usage but man i am hyped to open those 10k eggs baby let's head home let's pick up plan let's go hunting for some epic pokemon so guys i pulled in for a little bit of petrol and an egg's about to hatch so what's it gonna be i have no idea if it's a two five ten i don't care just give me something i need you know the drill eggs oh okay okay second ekans for today you know what i'm thinking about this right now because 55 no way so many candies all right you know what when we get home i think we may be doing an ekans and a jigglypuff evolution that's awesome so guys we are back home but things have changed a little bit if you look outside it's now pitch black i came back from the dentist started editing a video next thing i know is pitch black so it's going to turn into a rare pokemon night time adventure all rolled into one i've now decided i'm going to do both of these new evolutions so evolve an Ekans into an Arbok, a Jigglypuff into a Wigglytuff, and get two new Pokemon added to our Pokedex. So you can see that Ekans is ready to evolve. Fun fact, if you spell Ekans backwards, it's Snake, and if you spell Arbok backwards, it is Cobra. So a little Easter egg there. Some of you guys may know that. There's lots of hidden Easter eggs in some of the names within Pokemon. So I'm going to go for the evolution and get ourselves our Arbok 
for the very first time. Now, the CP calculator over on Pokefine said we'd get about 1,000 or 1,100 evolutions. So let's see if that's going to be the case. Very, very brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. Look at it. It is mean. You don't mess with this guy. One of Team Rocket's favorite Pokemon. What's it going to come out? 1,084. So the CP calculator was pretty damn accurate. I knew these guys wouldn't come out super strong as in they wouldn't fit into like our top tier squad. But really, I didn't mind. I just want to get the new Pokemon added and thrown into our Pokedex for the first time. And of course, get loads of XP for these new evolutions. I've got Lucky Egg rocking as well. Wigglytuff looking mean. Look at this, baby. Let me know if you've got an Arbuck or Wigglytuff added to your Pokedex already. You may already have them. These may not be new evolutions for you guys. What we're going to get here, 1,208. Yo, that is a really good evolution. If we do it by CP power, then Wigglytuff actually falls into our top page category Pokemon. So actually, seriously good. Now remember, guys, we've got three 10k eggs on the go, a load of two and five. 5k eggs as well. Unfortunately, because it's so late now, Claire can't join us. We've got a really busy weekend ahead of us and I need to record videos, so that's why I'm still heading out late to find these rare Pokemon. When we get in the car, I'll tell you what the Pokemon is, right guys? Then we'll head to the location and fingers crossed, this nest will be awesome. So guys, are you ready for our rare Pokemon nighttime adventure? I'm actually using the torch that I used in our scary nighttime Pokemon hunt. And honestly, if you find any good Ghastlies on this adventure, I'll be really happy. But I promise you guys, I'll tell you which Pokemon we're going after. So it's actually a magma nest spawner. You guys know how much I want a magma. Funnily enough, now I've got three 10k eggs. I feel like we're going to go here, capture a magma, and then I'm going to hatch one and be really annoyed. But hey, we're going to head on over. And honestly, on the way or on the way back, I could get some more tip offs through Pokefind of more Pokemon in the area submitted by you guys and found on the map. So let's head off. Hopefully, there's something good there. And it's actually really late at night. I'm going to a golf course at like 1 a.m. So I don't even know if I can get in. We'll find a way in. Don't worry. Even if I have to park up outside and head on in. We'll be fine. So, let's shoot off and find these rare Pokemon. Guys, I couldn't help myself. I've driven past the four Pokestop God Point and I've literally parked up at, what, 1 a.m. in the morning. So if a police car goes by and sees me parked here in an R8 just sitting on my phone, they're probably gonna be thinking, what is that guy doing? But I've got, I've got a few decent captures, a few Psyducks and a few Magic Carps that grind towards that Gyarados. But the big one that I've just got, if we go to recent, is actually a Meow. And that's put me now over 50 candy. So we can do another new evolution. So why not do it now? One second, boys, a Poliwag spawned him. Still need that Poliwrath, remember? Easy gains, another Poliwag added to the collection. 58 candies going on there, all good. Now, the the question is, my friends, what is the best Meowth I currently have? Hmm, it's only a 340 Meowth. That, that really is not a great Meowth. But since, since I'm feeling like I'm liking you guys a lot right now, and it was probably never going to be a part of my squad anyway, let's evolve this Meowth into a Persian and just add a new Pokemon to the Pokedex. I've got a Lucky Egg Rocking, obviously got uh, Incense and Lure, all of that good stuff here. Look at that. We like to call it Oliver. It's a little Oli Poly in Pokemon form. I reckon just maybe 7, 800 CP. Honestly, don't think it's going to be that great. It may, that may even be too high of a prediction. 7, yeah, 7, 800. We literally got that right. So let's nickname this dude. His original form, Oli Poly, because he just looks cute and cuddly, exactly like Oli himself. And it's a new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I'm sure we'll get a better one at some point later on. Do not worry. Um, as you can see here, there's not too much going on. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull myself away. So I'm going to pull myself away from all of these lures and head to the rare Pokemon spot. All right, guys, I've pulled up into this golf car park at 1 a.m. in the morning. My freaking battery in my camera is running low. I didn't pick up a new camera pack like an idiot before I left for this journey because it's so late at night. But look at this. Three, jeez. Three freaking magmas are right here, hopefully, in the car park. So let's go for a wander and try and find this rare Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, look who I'm chilling next to. It's a freaking magma, boys. Now, what is the CP going to be? That is the question. 508. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. This is our first ever magma catcher, remember? I've gone for the kneeling capture approach just because I definitely want to get this guy, even though there's loads nearby. Now, I think. Like an absolute idiot, just as I arrived, my lucky egg ran out. My lucky eggs and incenses aren't in sync, but here we go, baby. There we go, our first rare magma. Literally, as soon as we walk into these nests, can you see how good nests are now? Like, nests are just so good for these rare Pokemon. Share them on Pokemon Find. Go and tell your friends about them if you ever find one. But that magma, as you can see, really was quite underranked. Ooh, got a medal as well, nice. But I think we can find a better magma than that, potentially. I'm going to have to walk around this car park and maybe even go on the golf course a little bit. I want to find an even better one. Our second magma 
Magmar find 391. Really, really, Magmar? Where's the 1,000 CP Magmar? You know what I mean? We've got 1,200 Electro Buzz. We need to get a 1,000 at least Magmar. Now, this is what I'm talking about, baby. I swear to God, almost in the exact same spot the last one spawned, a 1,000. 303 Magmar has just popped up. This is the kind of CP for rare Pokemon I was looking for. So, this is going to be a tough capture for sure. I'm going to go for a spin Ultra Ball. I've raspberried him up. Ooh, too much spin, too much spin. That's looking good, that's looking good. A spin, great. Ultra Ball with a raspberry, you can't ask for much more than that, apart from an excellent. Yo, look at that, that is what I'm talking about. That is what we came here to do, baby. An unreal magma catch out in the wild. If we take a look as well at our now CP list for all of our Pokemon, that dude comes in at the number fifth spot. Look at him, he is absolutely menacing. I told you guys, for me, Magma and Electrobus were such awesome, awesome Pokemon from Gen 1, and having both of them now in our squad is amazing. Guys, I can't help myself. There's a gym here, obviously, because it's a golf course, and it's a level 8 gym, an unreal gym. I honestly think I can take it down. It's going to take quite a while to battle it over and over and over. So I'm just going to chew in for a little bit. It's 1am. There's actually no one around. If someone doesn't come out and jump me suddenly, I should be okay. So I'm going to put a lucky egg on and try and get this gym all the way down from this level, which, as you can see here, is an unreal gym. So I'm going to try, try, and take it all the way down and take it for Team Blue. Guys, I believe this is the last, or the second last, I think, Pokemon in this level 8 gym. So, let's see. Jolteon is down. One more, perhaps, I think. Okay, this is definitely the final Pokemon. A Vaporeon, my friends. If I take down this Vaporeon, I would have defeated a level 8 gym. Now, obviously, to get down to neutral, I've got to defeat the level 7, level 6, level 5, level 4, level 3, level 2, level 1. So, all of them, all the way down to neutral. And a van did actually pull into this um, golf course at 1am, which was kind of freaky, but I think and I hope they're just delivering stuff. I just stayed well out their way. But I just want to take down this gym. This will be honestly the biggest gym fight ever. So not only will you guys have come along with me to find that awesome rare magma, will you also potentially, if this battle goes my way, have come with me to take on my toughest gym fight yet, I think. Okay, now we still got a few Pokemon. I know that for sure. I still got a Jolteon and this Vaporeon. My Vaporeon is just a little bit worse, but we're still going to be able to take it down. And this looks like, my friends, a level 8 gym defeated for us. Look at that, plus 1,700 XP. Look at how many stars I just knocked it down by. Jeebus, man. All right, I'm not going to show you the rest of the battles until this thing's neutral. I'm going to be here for a while, but it's going to be worth it. Can we all just appreciate it for a second how awesome the R8 looks in the middle of the night, all alone in this car park? So unfortunately, guys, my vlogging camera did die on me, but luckily, I managed to defeat the gym. I say I spent a good 30 to 40 minutes here grinding away at the gym, trying to take it down all the way from 8 all the way to neutral. And Vaporeon is such a strong Pokemon. Pokemon. I think I may do a top 10 strong Pokemon in Pokemon Go because their strength and power, you often don't really know who's that good in Pokemon Go. Vaporeon is a very much a surprise Pokemon as to how strong it is. It is such a powerful Pokemon. But I caught a Magma just before going into the gym. It was only 149, but it's another Magma to add to the list. It was my Vaporeon versus the gym's final Vaporeon, and it literally came down to the wire. Oh my gosh. I think it had a different moveset to me. I had the Water Gun and and Water Pulse moveset, and I think the other Vaporeon had the Hydro Pump moveset, and literally with one HP left, I swear, I took down that Vaporeon and claimed the gym as mine, baby. So I thought, you know what, as tribute to Vaporeon, absolutely smashing it and helping me out so much, I've left Vaporeon in the gym here. He'll probably be gone tomorrow, but at least he can stand tribute for tonight and be recognized as to how well he's done. So I think today's vlog may turn out to be a little bit shorter than it normally is, which I really apologize about, but we did do lots of awesome evolutions. We found an awesome new rare Pokemon. I hope you guys now can head over to Pokemon Find and find your own rare Pokemon as well, which is awesome. I've got loads of awesome Pokemon Go videos lined up for you guys. As always, I'm gonna jump back in the R8, head home, head to sleep, and then tomorrow we'll be straight back on the grind, playing Pokemon Go, trying to be the best trainer, and I'll see you guys then.